Are you smart enough to understand? David's Prayer 16 Then King David went in and sat before the Lord, and he said, Who am I, Lord God, and what is my family, that you have brought me this far? 17 And as if this were not enough in your sight, my God, you have spoken about the future of the house of your servant. You, Lord God, have looked on me as though I were the most exalted of men. 18 What more can David say to you for honoring your servant? For you know your servant, 19 Lord. For the sake of your servant and according to your will, you have done this great thing and made known all these great promises. 20 There is no one like you, Lord, and there is no God but you, as we have heard with our own ears. 21 And who is like your people Israel the one nation on earth whose God went out to redeem a people for himself, and to make a name for yourself, and to perform great and awesome wonders by driving out nations from before your people, whom you redeemed from Egypt. 22 You made your people Israel your very own forever, and you, Lord, have become their God. 23 And now, Lord, let the promise you have made concerning your servant and his house be established forever. Do as you promised, 24 So that it will be established and that your name will be great forever. Then people will say, The Lord Almighty, the God over Israel, is Israel's God. And the house of your servant David will be established before you. 25 You, my God, have revealed to your servant that you will build a house for him. So your servant has found courage to pray to you. 26 You, Lord, our God. You have promised these good things to your servant. 27 Now you have been pleased to bless the house of your servant, that it may continue forever in your sight, for you, Lord, have blessed it, and it will be blessed forever. The tabernacle that the Lord commanded Moses to build was to serve both purposes mentioned above. First, the Lord directed his people to make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. He promised to reveal himself there and give instructions to them, see Exodus 25 8, 22, he subsequently kept this promise, and it came to pass, as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended, and stood at the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face, as a man speaketh unto his friend, Exodus 33 colon 9, 11. Second, the Lord intended to reveal sacred ordinances to his people in that tabernacle, see DNC 124.38. After seven and one half years, the temple was completed. Its dedication was a milestone in the history of Israel and a spiritual feast for the people. I have surely built you a house to dwell in, King Solomon prayed, a settled place for you to abide in forever. He concluded his dedicatory prayer by petitioning, the Lord our God be with us, as he was with our fathers, let him not leave us, nor forsake us, that he may incline our hearts unto him, to walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments, 1 Kings 8 13, 57 to 58. This was a blood and flesh God that lived only on the earth.